guys, um, I wanted to do a video of myself and a book that I've read too. Um, so I struggle with guidebooks, so I'm going to add two books in um, this video. So one's a guidebook, a quote-unquote guidebook, and one's a quote-unquote anyone book. Um, the first book is called All of the Broken Pieces. It is written by Anne E. Burke, and it is a verse book. Anyone that knows me knows that I love, love, love books written in verse um they are like something that's really good for me because i'm like a little bit adhd so i like to like be all over the place and so it keeps me like up and reading it and i read them quick and i love that like i get, can get through a book really quickly and i don't feel like i read like baby book or whatever um so this book is a book that it's an older book it let me see when it was written it was originally written in 1977. Um, however, like, I recommend this to any, like, baseball fan. I recommend it to anyone who likes history. I recommend it to kids who just like verse books. So, it is about a young boy. And the boy has come to the United States from Vietnam after the Vietnam War. And he has some secrets from that war. And his dad gets him involved in baseball. And some things happen on the baseball team. There's like another kid that doesn't like him. And they get into it a little bit. And eventually you find out the boy's secrets and what went on with his family in Vietnam. It's a really good book um, for people who like history. I really think that as a whole in our society, especially young kids, we don't talk about the Vietnam War a lot. And so this book is definitely covers that topic. And if you are a guy that doesn't like to read a lot, this is a good book for you because it is in verse. It does go pretty fast because it is in verse and it's super easy. So that's the first one. The second one I'm gonna talk to you about is the book that I'm currently reading. So one other thing I love is Halloween. I love Halloween. Like we already carved pumpkins. We did all this stuff. I love like my, my four year old is obsessed with Halloween because I'm obsessed with Halloween. And so I bought this book last year. It's Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel. So I have seen Hocus Pocus enough times that I didn't even read half this book because half the book is the actual movie Hocus Pocus, the Disney movie. And so like I even dressed up. I there's a picture up here. There's a picture up here where I dressed up as one of the Hocus Pocus girls. Okay. This in, has the whole movie for the first one. So it has the whole first movie. And then, I don't think, they haven't made a second movie yet. But they were talking about doing a TV show. But I don't know if they got next. Half the, the rest of this book is the sequel. And so what's happened in this book is the main characters are in the movie Hocus Pocus. Max and Allison. They have had a child, and it is 25 years later, and that child is like 16 or 17, and her name is Poppy, and Poppy has heard the story of her parents, but doesn't believe it's real. She's like, no way, my dad didn't bring back the Sanderson's sisters, and it's a, it's a bloody moon, or blood moon, or whatever it is, and they summon the sisters back, and so... The three witches have come back and they took the place of her dad, her mom, and her aunt, Danny. And so it's all about like, how are they going to get their dad, mom, and aunt back? And then Poppy is there with her two friends, one Travis and one is um, Isabel. And Isabella is put into a dog. And so she's a dog for most of the book. Um, it's kind of crazy. I'm not done with it yet, so I don't know how it ends. But I highly recommend it. It's called Hocus Pocus in the all-new sequel. If you like magic, this is a good book for you. If you like that movie, it's one of my favorite Halloween movies. You might like this. Um, they do, I do think it's a huge book. It's like 500 pages. But 200 and some of them are the first movie. So you're able to just cut those out and just read the sequel. That's what I did. I am on 419 of 500 or something. I want to finish it today. I don't know. But this is another option. So for video two, you can choose whichever book you'd like. So either Hocus Pocus in the new sequel or All the Broken Pieces. 
All right, have a great Monday. I'll be talking to parents today and to a little bit tomorrow too. Please reach out and if you has, have any questions at all. Today's a super easy day. You're just watching videos and writing some notes. Wednesday, we have additional virtual day, which we're gonna do something similar. And then the rest of the week is a little, it's just a little bit easy this week. Have a great week, guys.